Abel Gantz, who directed this film, wrote it, and co-produced it, began making this movie in 1919. After two years, he finally had a rough cut. But then his wife, to whom he was devoted, tragically died of tuberculosis. Gantz was grief-stricken and soon after traveled to America for the U.S. premiere of his film, Jacques. Now, by chance, he met Hollywood director D.W. Griffith at that time, and it was Griffith who encouraged Gantz to return to the editing room and finish this film, which he did after another year of work on it. The film was finally released in 1923 at 8 hours and 32 minutes. And even at that numbing length, it was extremely popular with French audiences. However, because of its length and the slow turnover of audiences who went to see it, because of the long time it took Abel Gantz to be able to make it, it wound up being the most expensive film that had been produced in France up to that point and didn't make enough profit to please its investors, which was quite a blow to Abel Gantz's career. Up next is a surreal, silent film from Spanish director Louis Buñuel, one he did in collaboration with no less than Salvador Dali. Tonight on Turner Classic Movies, Salvador Dali lends a hand to Un Chien Andalou. Then Yasujiro Ozu directs the Japanese silent film I Was Born But, and we explore the next chapter in the story of film chapter three, The Great Rebel Filmmakers Around the World. <laughs> 